we had quite a bit of a discussion between this because Python has three different methods. So far we've looked at dot read, but there is a dot read line and there is a dot read lines and they all do something different. So when you use just dot read, Python reads them all in as one complete string object. Okay, it says, um, this is just squashed all together um, and I want to read everything that is in this file. I don't know if, if you've ever used cat in, in Linux, it kind of reminds me of that. Um, so you would, it would read in everything. Now you've seen this before, I'm just looking at this other DNA file, remember the narrow one? Um, I just want to show you the difference between what read, dot read line and dot read lines does. It's a slight difference, but in, in how it's spelled, but it's a huge difference in what, what is being printed out. Um, just, so just I'm showing you so that when you see this in somebody else's code, you do know that there, there are differences and, um, and you might want to use that sometimes just to check something or for any other reason. Um, okay, so this is just dot read. Now, if I take dot read line and I do exactly the same thing to this um, other DNA file and I print that, then you will see that it's only printing the first line. Can you see this, this ATG, whatever? So it's only printing the first line if you use dot read lines. Dot read lines is completely different. Um, if, you, if, you, if you put that extra S there, <laughs> just have a look. So what it does now, we haven't done the, this, but I'm sure some of you have seen it before, but it turns your, your whatever's in your file into a list that is split every time there's a new line. And I took this, the other DNA.txt file deliberately because obviously we saw that there were new lines introduced at the end. Um, and the sequence are split over multiple lines as, as opposed to the DNA.txt file where everybody was just one continuous line. And it only looked like it was split over lines because our screen is too small. So, so Jupyter nicely tried to accommodate everything for us. Um, but so be careful with this one because that read lines is going to give you a list where every line is an element in your list. Okay, and this is useful sometimes. Um, for one, list has, um, if, when you're working with a list, you can do some of the similar things that you would do with, with strings. Remember, we sliced um, with strings. So when you use dot read lines, you can, for example, say, um, take this, um, this variable where I've now split my, my file into uh, a list with elements and, and only read skip the first two lines and and you will see that it's a bit difficult to see but let's look at this one a a t g a and we see where that one features a a t g g it's not that g a g c it's not that a a t g a and you will see that it skipped these first two elements and only started giving you the information from there so you're able to do things like that if you if you, for example, use just dot read line, so that is, and you try and slice that, uh, then you will see it will give you the first line because it's read line, but it will it will actually. Let me go and find this one, just to show you. This was dot read line without slicing. I just want to show you so that you can see the difference. So you will see that it stripped off the first two characters and it started reading from this GG. Okay, so now I, I do wanna say though um, that I don't, what I use mostly is the dot read um, and then I use a for loop because um, it's, it's easy for me to, with a for loop to be able to say which lines I want to be able to read from, but I'm, I haven't covered it yet because we haven't done for loops. Um, but this is just for you to see that there are different ways of reading in data. 